the reactions prelim the release of academic record that um, of President Bola Ahmed Tinobu by Chicago State University is far from dying down. The former chairman of the Nigerian Bar Association, MBA, Ulisa Bakuba, SCN, said he is ashamed to see lawyers on national television arguing on merits or demerits of the matter. The senior advocate of Nigeria expressed displeasure with what he described as the cacophony of discordant voices surrounding the controversy saying the Supreme Court should be allowed to do its work. Today, the policy has been heated in the last two, three weeks over this back, back and forth. Only the last week. <laughs> Sadiqa Saga, man. Yeah. You know, Agbakoba, I'm happy that Agbakoba has seen the light because the 25% Terminated from the needless and ridiculous argument over 25 percent of abuja mm. Agwakoba was one of the big figures be, be, uh, behind that thoroughly needle needless argument mm. the feeling that one small part of our country it's is superior to the rest of our country mm. and you can't even give us the parameters because it's not commonsensical to think in the first place that Abuja's votes are superior to the votes of Kano, to the votes of Kaduna, to the votes of uh, Lagos that would, and other places. That would be chaotic. How do people reason like this? Recipe for... <laughs> I mean, what, what, what kind of thinking went into coming out to say somebody must win Abuja, must, must cut 25% in Abuja before he can be president? You didn't sit back to ask yourself that. Does it mean... If it's caught twenty five percent in thirty five states or thirty six states, mm. because it doesn't have Abuja, does it mean it's not qualified to be president? Mm. When people are held down by primordial sentiments, by hatred and all that, it hampers their capacity to think constructively. Mm. Objectively. No. Mm -hmm. uh, it, they will not be able to think. They will not be able to engage their brains constructively. How do you how do you come up with twenty five percent of Abuja that somebody must must uh, score it to be president? There is no country in the world where such stipulation is handed down. No country. I've asked them. They should tell me what country makes that kind of stipulation. Even in America, the grandfather of democracy. The big states, yeah. New York, California. California. So, you may not win them, and you will still be president. Yes. For example, the Republicans have been winning presidential election without even getting close to winning California yeah. or winning New York. Who will, who, will, who will let them win New York? Largest. Will the Democrats open their eyes and let Republicans win? Win New York? How? In what age? So. We bring all kinds, and when this thing, those of us who are not lawyers, we came here, we said this thing is, Common sense is, 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 is not, it makes no sense to think like this. We told them, ah, they, you, know, they, you see lawyers that we respected. Mm. They came on TV and continued to, because the person that they were targeting, they knew he didn't get it. Mm. But he got what they didn't get. He won in places where they didn't even come close to doing well. Because he didn't score 25 percent, they held on to it. Like, okay, this is it. And the whole intention of the constitution was twisted. Mm. When we were telling them, they didn't listen. Mm. They were looking at but the, the judgment came. The judgment came. You saw how the initially they kept quiet. Mm. And you know, let me tell you, Ayo, the best lawyers in this country. Mm. They don't go on TV to boast. Mm, 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 mm. They don't boast. Do you see them? They don't boast. Mm. It's people who are incapable of winning, uh, even in significant cases. Mm. They are the ones who go from TV station to TV station to open their mouth wide. Mm. We know them now. Mm. Mm. Even some of them, the way they are, the way they talk, and the illogic coming out of their mouths, you know that even if a layman. Somebody who did not read law.
confront them, you will defeat them. Because you even ask, where did this one read law? Which law school did this one go? Which university trained this one as a lawyer? When you hear them talking, they are, the bias has enveloped them. Bias has baptized them. And they are incapable of a constructive and healthy argument. You see, the, you see that bias oozing out of them. Like, like uh, uh, this thing, like um, Paul. <laughs> I was, my mind was going to the ozone layer. <laughs> so, look at the situation. A sensible lawyer knows that once a case has been filed, you don't go on TV Start on and off. talking about it. When we brought... Um, WK. When we brought... Um, yeah, mm. SCN. Mm. SCN to discuss the Kano judgment. He said, I'm appearing here for one reason, because the appeal has not been filed. If the appeal had been filed, you will not see me here. Mm. These are lawyers who respect them. Go to court, as in, they've won, they are veterans in a, the electoral yeah, battles. I, can't tell I, was, <laughs> I mean, it's a record setting lawyer. <laughs> He, mm. he was the one who handled Oshomole's matter. Mm. And Oshomole became the first, mm. the first, I mean, it became the first time a governor would lose his position, mm. you know, will lose his, his, his seat mm. through the courts. Mm. Later on, people like uh, Peter Obi mm. to benefited and all mm. that. So he I said, I would not have been here, if not because the matter had not been fired. But you see people... You see lawyers going from this. Come on. And you are not. So now, Agbakoba, who used to himself, was guilty of uh, the same uh, crime. He's now saying, I'm ashamed. I'm very angry. I'm, I'm ashamed of lawyer. MBA uh, president should descend on lawyers who are doing this. I'm happy that Agbakoba has seen the light. But people will point to what he did too with the 25% in and how they fouled the atmosphere mm. with the baseless argument that they were coming up with. This particular Sadiqis, um, CSC Sadiqis saga has heated the polity, JKB, yeah. the last one week, and um, a lot of interpretations. Yeah, and a lot of... People will interpret Everybody that... Everybody has become Supreme Court. Yes. Yeah. The way they under, the, the way they want that will suit their purposes, and if you go online, You'll be shocked what you see online. Oh, I will stop discussing the matter of people because logic has been turned upside down. And once you know that, you just be wasting your time talking to the preaching to the choir. <coughs> as it were. Two things I've observed. People will take a position that is illogical and will twist it around in such a manner that you wonder why they went to school. Mm -hmm. Number two, once the case is fired, it means that you no longer have the rights. Mm. to comment on it. Why not wait? I won't predict. If you have a good case, mm. sit down, get a bottle of snaps, mm. enjoy mm. yourself. Or even though you have a bad case, then you normally you now take it to the court of public opinion. Yeah. They want public opinion to decide to, mm. So that you now, so why did you now lose? The judges. Mm. Why you now lose? Now say, I told you now. I told you they would do this. When is this common sense that one plus one would always be two? To not be 2.5. Not be too it to be two. And that's why demand was very concerned because lawyers are making public noises of themselves all over the media. Telling some TV stations, and you wonder, does this person know the law at all? Because in, in, in most cases, the point they are making is the point already before a court of law, or points already been decided by the lower courts. Yeah, like, the this is one lawyer. Yeah. We have some very ridiculous lawyers in our country, I'm sorry to say. I'm sorry, and grandstanding lawyers. Grandstanding. This is the same country where some people whose names were not even found on the uh, list of uh, uh, law graduates in our country, mm. they too will be forming a lawyer. Lawyer. <laughs> they will reform, say them be lawyer. Mm. Mm. This is uh, this is what we are seeing. And those ones too will, will go and be arguing and this and we charge and be lawyers. So people who merely help people. In, uh, and our, co and our Kenya colleagues Kenya to, also to write affidavits. Mm. They have people to fill affidavits. They too will be, be, be boasting that they are, they are good at law. But as I've said, 
those, those good lawyers, we know them. You won't even see them going from TV station to TV station. Why can't you wait? The, the, the matter, the way it is, is best left for the Supreme Court to handle. It's in their courts now? Yes. Atiku knows what he's doing. Mm. He knows he has lost. Final battle, man. And this looks like uh, it's good night mm. from Nigerian politics. So he's doing whatever he can to muddle the waters. Somebody, one of his spokespersons, claimed that TVC, they don't allow uh, opposition. And I'm like, what is this one smoking? <laughs> the other day, just this, this past week alone, mm -hmm. uh, the lawyer to Nasarawa State, um, PDP the PDP. candidate of mm. the uh, governorship candidate of the PDP mm. was here. Back to back, we had the uh, Kachiku of ADC. We brought him. This same allegation, even the NBC made the allegation to us, and we sent them a list of, of the guests that we have brought to TVC since May. Those guests were in the realm of like 65% compared to the ruling party. And we brought labor. The woman who is their spokesperson has appeared on Standpoint, appeared on the for Learning's program. In fact, on a particular day, when we had the live, I brought her back because I knew they would go and say, ah, they didn't uh, allow her to appear again. Mm. I, I brought her back the next day when there was no live. And he appeared on Yori for Lions program. Uh, Peter will be, I wanted Peter will be on the show. I even called Shagari, um, Somna Sambo. I said, Can you get me Peter will be? He said, Peter will be doesn't want to appear before. Said, Why will he not want to appear before? We are not masquerades. Well, we are not holding a whip. And at TVC, we don't intimidate the guest, we don't put words in the mouth of the guest. They're not on trial. We don't put them on trial. Mm. This is not a, 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 law, a law court, and it is not a police station where you take statements. I saw one this morning. We don't play, I mean, we don't play to we the don't guy. Not. We allow you to speak. Um, uh, do you remember before the election? Mm. Um, what's his name? Dino Melaye. You know, we brought him. Mm. He was even challenging me to swear with the Bible on air. And you will say we don't allow opposition. We brought Dele Momodu. Dele Momodu to spoke here. We've been bringing people. The candidate of the PDP in Kaduna, the one that they says looks like me, is Ashiru. We brought him, he too. I don't even know all of the different people. Mm. And you will still say without shame, without evidence, you will say TVC, they don't uh, bring in opposition. Thank opposition you. have been appearing by far more than uh, APC people on, 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 on TVC. I can't sit here and call myself a professional and be in charge of current affairs programming, and I won't allow opposition to come. Yeah, How will that happen? Mm. Mm. It's not going to happen. Mm. Well, Bakuba now is now saying that, look, it's time to wait for the Supreme Court. Yeah. And because the old, old, old system did not work, the one they did before, eyes on the judiciary, putting on billboards, putting in, the judges reacted appropriately. Mm. Not only did they lambast mm. those shenanigans, they also let it show in their manner. That they also human beings. they were hungry. And they were hungry and they showed it. Showed and so if anybody has just an out of common sense, you realize that. They showed it, but they still followed the law. They followed they the, law. Know, the law. But they let them know that they know that this is the game they were it's playing. wrong, yes. That's yeah. what, <laughs> that to me is for, I, think, to I think that's, that's what I'm talking about. the noisy minority. That's what very I'm Very tiny. Very mm -hmm. tiny. Because you can easily be misled to think, oh, this is what the public wants. And I keep talking about my people in the north, where I was born and raised. They don't make all this noise. It's not, it's not no, you are listening. How many Nortanas have you no, seen on the social media? Uh, pressing Atiku and saying, Atiku, yes, uh, go ahead. Morasi, uh, Koto, uh, Shakpa, uh, Elka, and all that. No, they, they have no such time. But when it comes to voting, you will see they know, them, they, they will outvote you. The voters their political the culture, their yes. political culture is stronger than Very savvy. that of other parts mm. of the country. They don't need, they, they don't need to come and make too noise. much uh, motivation to come out on election no, day. No, no. Ah, ah, election day. I've seen that happen. Yeah, so. when, I was, when I was living in Kano, oh, no, no, you just ah, see people on their own. They see it as a responsibility. They'll come, mm. come out and vote. Mm. You don't need to give them money to come out and mm. vote. 
Unlike some Lagos, people that seven seven point five million registered yeah, yeah, voters. I don't know why people on election day are not going to Lagos. use that. You are not ready to vote. Say, you register. They will stay you at home and collect the voters card. You put it under your bed. No, you put it in their car. <laughs> Kano will always over mm. out vote. Later. Ah, Kano. You may have more registered voters than Kano, but uh, they will outvote you. Anything. The mobilization will be high. The political awareness. The, you know the old university. Okay, right? we have to go. Nah, the, the, I don't want to say the old university. Most people are. Could be. They accuse me of saying you're the boy on this program. <laughs> the last song a deaf man heard mm. is the song he will sing mm. till he die. So these people will not. Thank you. Thank you. Just what they do. Thank you for today's edition. Yeah. And that's our offering today. Join us tomorrow for another episode of the program. You can watch the repeat broadcast tonight at 11 p.m. Join us this Sunday from 1.30 to 3.30 for Journalist Hangout on Sunday. We're on YouTube, youtube.com slash TVC News Nigeria.